Turn that off. Turn that off. You got to get this ready. Okay. Now you smell it? Yeah. Yeah, you want to get that ready before you turn that on. You don't want to sit there and let that thing... Okay. Then turn it on. Get that in front of it and then turn it on. Then, then light it. So today, Tyler is doing the install pretty much by himself. I'm just gonna, he's the apprentice and he's gonna learn how to do this with my guidance and uh, it's time to let the reins go. So Tyler's gonna learn how to do this and I'm gonna be the coach and uh, yeah, it's time to for Tyler to step up. Right, Tyler? Yeah. Okay. Stay tuned because we got a this AC install. I'll leave the link in the description up here of when we installed the furnace. Um, and we'll see you on the other side. And we got to clean this out. Okay. Yep, just run that around. Like this. Okay. No, nope, like this. Hold it by the handle. And you just kind of... Okay. See so it kind of... Yeah. And make sure you don't get those shavings too far in there. It's like a little knife and it just cuts it. You just got to go up and around. Keep going. Here, 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 here. I'm doing this. Grab it and just... And you just stick your finger in there carefully. All right. Okay. Okay. That way the piece will fit in there. It should be. Yep, and then take this and then take your knife and run it down there. Yeah, from right here. Yeah, not too hard. You don't, you don't want to score that line set. Okay, and then you peel it back. And then you get to use the bender. So, hold on a second. Yep, keep going. Keep going until it's a nice 90, 90 radius. Okay, that's, keep going. May have to drop that down a little bit. Okay, that's good, that's good. One more or just? No, that's good, because we're, we we're gonna have to drop this down a little bit. It's a new, yep, there you go. Kind of rock it back and forth. There you go. Okay, so then you just kind of bend that up and that'll that should land right up in there. Nice square cut. Don't go back too far. Just want to clean that end oh, up. Right here. Yeah, make sure it's nice and square. And then when you get in there, kind of rock it back and forth as you're pushing that in. Okay. Up and down, rock it. Oh get it right where you need it to be. Keep pressing that and it'll ratchet, it'll ratchet and then kind of work your way. There you go. Keep pressing that in. Okay, now I'll just keep, now I'll just keep ratcheting it. It's not catching or what? No, it is. Okay. There, we got a nice square cut now and it's clean. Don't you need this. Yep, then you do that. Get that in there and ream it. Go back the other way. Pull it out. Okay. So, there's that one. Yeah, you take your Hillmore swag tool kit and stick it in there. And you just keep pumping it until you start feeling it, some resistance. You don't want to do it too much. Feel some resistance now? Yeah. Okay, now pop, hit that button. Yep, this one right there. Okay, now I'll try to stick that in there and see if it goes in. You have to grab a hold of it and then there you go. Perfect, yep. Right. And when you do it, you want to keep it out just a little bit. Yeah. Cutters. Watch my thumb, don't hit my thumb. Okay. 
the same thing kind of ratchet it back and forth as you're pushing in that okay now straight just just cut it keep going there you go okay and then i'll take your reamer tool and clean that out chafing it push and turn there you go push it in there Yeah. See, it makes a nice little bevel in there. Okay. Take that off and clean that up. Just turn in. There you go. Not too far. You just want to do the right here. A couple turns so it's nice and clean. That in there. Take your paste and not a whole lot, but you want to put a little bit on there. Okay, what I do is I like to give her a nice little spin. Okay. okay. Perfect. Go. Turn that off. Turn that off. You got to get this ready. Okay. Now you smell it? Yeah. Yeah, you want to get that ready before you turn that on. You don't want to sit there and let that thing... Okay. Then you turn it on. You get that in front of it and then turn it on. Then, then light it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I turned it down down there. And get your state right eight ready. Pull some out. Make a nice little bend. Pull some out. Okay. Remember, you want to heat right here. Don't need a lot of heat. Just kind of work your way around. No, not yet. Keep it away from that black on the fly. Kind of move it around. There you go. Oh, watch it on the foot. Okay, now hit it with that. Yep. Remove the heat. Remove the heat. Yep. Work your way around. You can get that underneath. A little bit on this side. That arm apart. Okay, now I'll get that. There you go. Get that booger out of there. It's gonna wipe it off. There you go. Okay, I'll go up. Watch where you're aiming that at. A little bit, a little bit more on that side. Alright, there you know. Hit this one. I would turn that down this way or turn it up this way. Don't worry. Like this. Okay. Yeah, or the other way. Yeah. Okay, now get your. Keep it, keep getting some heat on it. Careful. Okay, now. And that, there you go. I'm gonna get some underneath. Don't get that. Don't get that stuff in, on that bar fitting. Right. Okay, we should be good. It don't take a lot of heat. Way too much. That's right. You gotta use the end of it. Use yeah. the tip. Yeah. You know how that is, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's turn that off. So put that, no, that goes in, no, the other way, there you go, yep, and put that in there, and then that gets in, plugged in there as well, should we have it, yep, in? just like that, it's not too tight, but enough to where it's not going to leak, okay, maybe okay. just a titch more, okay, Okay, now go ahead and put your rings on. This, these are nice and cool now. Three for each one. Three for each one, yeah. Three for this one, three for that one, and just 
Not, not, don't stretch them out too much. You'll break them. Just kind of right. roll them on. There you go. Then you roll the other one on. Careful, don't lose them. You gotta kind of. There you go, just like that. You keep rolling it. Keep going. There you go. Okay. Now put that white white piece on. Yep. Yep. And snap. Okay, let's put it on. Then you take your stainless steel coupling. The, the oh, yep, just like that. Push that in there. Okay. Now I'll do the same thing with this one. Uno. Dos. Trace. Keep going. Good job. All right. All right. Alright, up just a little bit, okay, and then you want to hold this and then push it in. Oh, it's not dope. Okay, you wanna, there you go. Push it into where, okay, so you don't need that. Huh? It's not going to do you. Know, looks like, you, know, you see that, you see there's, yeah, there's okay, a black part. Yeah, yeah but you want to push in just a little bit more. Okay, I think we're good. Hold this. As you're pushing down on it. Okay. Now is that that looks like it's seated in there too, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Um yeah, and then press the trigger. Alright. Okay. Perfect. Everybody gives Tyler a hand, a, a, a hand of applause. Yay, hey, Tyler. Okay. Now we gotta kind of keep this just a little bit. Actually, it's... Hold on, take your wrench and loosen this up. Loosen it up. Loosen, you're tightening it. There you go. That's, uh... I wanna do something here. Okay, so... Once it kind of goes up and over. Um, okay, there we go. Now careful, you gotta I'm trying to make it okay. kind of square. Okay, now hold on. It's, okay, tighten it. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, let's pack our stuff up and go outside. Um. Probably, probably about right there, yeah. Cut one at a time, keep your fingers away. There it is. Yeah, so then we want to keep that down like this so. We're gonna be coming out here, so we gotta make this. So we're gonna have to go this way, and you're gonna have to put it on this side. So kind of get an idea where that's gonna bend at. So that's gonna be your line right there. So you gotta come back a little bit further. Okay, there you go. Go ahead and make a bend. Yep, 90. You broke it. 
Oh, Tyler, you broke that. Put it in there. Okay, and then yeah, there. Oh, okay. All right, then we want to kind of, we got to cut that off. With Let us know how you feel about it while you listen to some cold play on the parachute stuff. Come back to okay. the lights. Spin it. Get it locked in. There you go. Not, don't, you're spinning the wrong, there you go. Okay, I'll pull it out. Stick it in there. And I'll take those and set them up, up there. Put these up there. Yeah, so you don't spill them or lose them or get anything on. There you go. Okay, now we're gonna have to clean that one with a brush. A brush? Three quarter brush. Is that three quarter? Okay. Okay, so then you're gonna get your stay clean by Harris. Gotta get this out of the box too. I'm gonna do that first. Yeah, I'll get that out of there and then we can get that set up. You know, through the other side. Okay, make sure everything's cleaned out. You know, gotta clean that off too. Yep. No, 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 no. Your, your brush. You gotta do a brush and then. Paste on. Look at this. Let's let's get the cores out of there first, so we don't. Okay. And then I'm having you do a bunch of different things, but so stick it in there until it goes down. Turn it until you feel it drop down. Feel it drop down. Yeah. And now you turn it. Turn the end. Turn this piece right here. Counterclockwise. Counter. There you go. And that's how you're removing your your cord. You got to keep going until it comes out. No, not that one. This one. Yeah, but it fell out. I didn't know if I had to do. You pull that out. Once you look at that and see how it fits in there. Now you should be able to take your finger and pull that out. Okay. Now look at that. See how that grooves on the end. See how that goes in there? Yeah. Turn it, turn it right there at the handle. Okay, that's good. Grab your solder. Turn that up just a touch on the back of the tank. That's it. There you go. Move it in. Okay, now put your side on it. Now you move the heat. Get that upper all the way around there. Get some underneath. Here you gotta. Okay, now get that up underneath. There you go. A little bit more right there. The solder. Move your solder around. More heat. Move them on right. Okay, now, now hit it. A little more. Okay, hit it again. Hit it right there. Right here. Yeah. Right to the tip of it. There you go. How's that look? What? 
Okay, now hit that right there. Get that one. Get that joint. Remember, get that little tip. Careful, it might be hot. Use that heater on there. You go. Get some underneath. There you go. Okay. Underneath. Yep. And I'll hit that last point. Alright. Okay, now I'll hit it with the solder. Cut that off. I'm gonna kind of hit this. Yep, Tyler's buttoning up the yoga pipe connectors. Make sure you hold that dude so you don't kink anything. Hold on. We're doing, we gotta put the up stuff on first too. Get it on this side. Make sure you, you, know, you want it right up against that weight pushing, not on it, but right up against it, nice okay. and square. Good job. Nice and square, and right up next to that stopper. Right. We 
ladies and gentlemen, this is pretty much Tyler's first time of doing all this stuff, so he's seen me do it, but he's never really done it himself. Get that nice and tight. Get the other one out. Right. Okay, go ahead and hook up your nitrogen right there. We're at right on the end. Yeah. And Travis was suspended in the air. He was suspended okay, in the air. Okay, now open that up. Check out my Instagram, Alt Madison. Dial that in. How do I just turn it this way? Because this is your tank pressure, and this is the test pressure. Where do you want it? Oh, three, four hundred. In between, or that's fine. Now go ahead and open that up. Okay, first, what is this? Stop for a second. What did look at your chart here? Okay, do you see um, pressure? Factory test pressure, low side. Which side's your low side? Two forty. Which side? Which side is your low side? Low. Low side. Which side's your low side? Okay, that one. No, this is your low side, and this is your high side. Okay. So high side's four fifty, and low side's two forty. Okay. Okay. So we don't want to go past four fifty. Okay. Okay. So probably around three, three twenty-five. Three. Three oh two. Okay, I'm gonna shut that off. Shut it off. Yep. And then you want to shut this off. Shut that off. Shut this off. Yep. Okay. Now keep an eye on where that number is. What is it? 306. 306. And what's the tenths? The temp. 306. Point what? Oh, seven. Okay. Now we're gonna let that sit there for about five minutes, and in between there might. I usually like to just open that up real quick and shut it. That way it kind of levels things out. Okay. okay. So it is about 12 minutes after 11. Okay, now look at the number and see what it is. 306.6. Okay, now quickly open that up and shut it. This one? Yep, open it up and shut it real quick. Wait, this one. No, no, this one. Just real quick, open and shut it. Okay. I'll shut it. Okay. Now, what does your reading say? Two thirty-seven point nine, and it's going two thirty-seven point two point three. Okay. Now we'll let us sit there for a few more minutes. This method that I'm going to show you is you put your, being this is such a, a short line set, uh -huh. you can put your micron gauge right on your high side. Okay. And then. You want it tight, tight? Or yeah, I want it not. You're just tight enough where it's not going to leave. Okay. okay. Then go. Get that nice and tight. I have to use both hands. There you go. Okay. Okay, go ahead and hook up your blue hose. Nice and tight. Is that good or nice and tight. Don't want it leaking. This one, is that right there? Okay, you all plugged in. Yep. Open your gas, close your gas ballast. Yep, now turn it on. So once this reaches about a thousand, then we'll open that back up. So you keep an eye on these, see these here? See them dropping? Yeah. So right now, do you know what we're taking out? The nitrogen. No. Condensables, moisture. Okay. Yep. By keeping that gas ballast closed, we're not putting all the moisture in the oil. It's it's releasing before it gets to the oil. 
Like I said, once that gets down to about a thousand, then we'll close that, uh, open that gas, or close, open the gas ballast back up, and it'll, it'll filter through the, the oil, the vacuum pump oil. Okay. So that's your exhaust. No, nope, leave it on. No, we're we're in the final stages here. Okay, go ahead and close the gas ballast. Yep. There you go. So we'll let that run. We're gonna go to lunch and. Uh, It'll run for a good hour. We'll get back, it'll probably be about 100 microns, hopefully. All right, just got back from lunch. We took about an hour lunch. Uh, we're down to 103, so Tyler, go ahead and, go ahead and uh, blink that off. Well, uh, this? Yep. Turn this off first, so what you got to do? No, you got to turn this. Close this. Okay. Close that one off. Now you, no, 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 no. Close it. Close this. You got to oh, close man. the valve. Okay. Okay. Now shut the shut the vacuum pump off. We're gonna do a DK test. So doing that, you hit. Oh, watch. Hit there. Start DK. And as long as that don't start ramping up too much within a lot of time it'll it'll say pass or fail oh, it's supposed to ramp up just a little bit so it passed all right so what we want to do is you want to hold this and take this port off because you don't want to lose any vacuum Okay, now slide this whole setup out of the way. Okay. Hold that. Okay, so what we want to do is you need to put your core in there and get it ready. Here's your core. Put it on the end of that, and then shove it in there. Get it, get it close there before you let it go, because it might drop. Now you put that in there. Up in here? Yeah. You okay, know, move this down and, and screw it onto that. Here, here. Like that. Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want you to slowly take this and open that up, this service valve. Okay. And then as you're doing that, you need to take you need to take this off at the same time. Okay. You don't want not right now, but as soon as you crack that open, I want you to take this off. Okay. Because what'll happen is all that refrigerant will go back into that unit. Not, not before you get to crack that open. Righty tighty lefty loosey. You're tightening it. There's a, yeah. Just crack it open a little bit. Okay, now we'll take that off. Quickly. Okay. Open it. There you go. Take it right off. Boom, now go ahead and finish opening that up. Fully. Just keep going. Keep ratcheting. Okay, stop for a minute. So go ahead and open that up and then open push push that in. Yeah. Open this up? No, open that oh, up. Okay. Now push this in and then start spinning it and tighten. You want to basically put that uh you want to seat that valve in there. You gotta keep pressure on it. You gotta keep pressure on it with your thumb and then turn it until it until it seats in there. Turn it the right way, right? Yeah. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Get it in there until it's nice and tight. Keep 
ignoring because obviously you don't got it in there all the way. Okay, now it's getting tight. What I do is I snap up a little bit. And yeah, take this off. Take it off. No, take take this piece oh. off and do that, and take this off. Okay, so now go ahead and finish opening that up. Finishing opening. Yeah. Okay, now back it up just a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit. Okay, now there you go. Now take it out. Now go do the liquid line. Okay. Open that one out, and then you'll see the you'll see the refrigerant flowing out of there. Okay. Careful. There you go, see it? Go ahead and open it up. We shouldn't even have to add that. Probably not, because we got less than 15 feet. It wouldn't surprise me if we would have to recover any, but we should be fine. Alright. Your reading should tell you that, right? Huh? Your reading should tell you that, right? Yeah. Put your caps on, your brass caps. Alright. And if you notice, these have O rings on the inside, so you don't need to really reef them down, just snug them up with your fingers. So, like the Armstrong equipment, you need a you need to kind of tighten those down with a wrench, about an eighth of a turn with a wrench, and these here you don't, because they got the O rings on them. Something you have to pay attention to. All right. All right, good. So let's get your uh, your cover off, electrical cover there, and we'll wire it up to disconnect. Tyler's getting ready to wire up the high voltage here. So you got your L1, L2, T1, T2, and I like to put my put my red to red, black to black, and then your ground.
mean if you don't have any any experience whatsoever no background i would that would let somebody that has some experience do this but you know you can if you got confidence you got a little bit of knowledge in the electrical side you can do this and with soldering these fittings up even with the stay bright 8 harris uh stay clean you can do that yourself too And the, the Wago 221s wire connectors, they're just glorified wire nuts. Uh, they got the little flipper up tabs, you put your wires in there and then you just close them. They work really nice. Just like that. in there nice and neat. I'm putting the red and yellow so that way it'll be connected to the AC. Then the white common. Zip ties down way, please. Yep. Alright Tyler's getting ready to put the disconnect back in. Notice he's got his left left hand behind him and he's doing it with his right hand because your heart is on your left hand side and then just just for any kind of instances, you know, you uh, le electrical travels through your body, it doesn't hit your heart. But we're good to go there. You guys thought I was gonna walk away and not put my gauges on it. <laughs> Fooled you, didn't I? Yeah, we're good to go. We are good to go. Pressures look good. So it's kicking out some hot air. Line set's less than 15 feet. I knew I was going to be spot on. How's your first day of installing a it's AC? Right. Good. Right. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Good. And if you got any value out of this content, smash that thumbs up button. Um, if you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. It really help the channel out. And uh, if you're the one smashing that thumbs down, do that twice, that'd be great. See you on the next one.